Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about secretin which is a local hormone present in the gastrointestinal system and it's a peptide type hormone. So secretin is a hormone that regulates water homeostasis and that influences alkaline environment in the duodenum. So it neutralizes the acidic nature of chyme that is coming down from the stomach. So secretin chemically is a peptide hormone and secretin regulates several secretion or secretory events from stomach, pancreas and liver. In this video we would look at this in details from a cellular point of view. Now secretin has two major functions. Secretin helps to regulate the pH of duodenum in two ways. First, it inhibits the gastric secretion and thereby preventing further acidification of the chyme and second is stimulating the production of bicarbonate from the pancreas, pancreas itself. By these two methods, it can regulate the alkaline environment in the duodenum. So, secretin generally exists in the pro-secretin format, which is an inactive format ranging around 145 new. Uh, amino acids and it gets cleaved to a 72 amino acid containing peptide which is the active format and it is activated by gastric acid when the pH falls low secretin gets activated and once secretin is activated it indirectly leads to neutralization of duodenal pH. Now recently secretin was also discovered to play role in osmoregulation. So secretin other than working on the duodenum it can also work on pituitary gland and in the kidneys and secretin receptors are found in those locations. So this is the role of secretin beyond the GI tract. Secretin was one of the hormone which was discovered at the first by Baileys and Starling by their elegant experiment in the mouse gastrointestinal system. So in the mouse gastrointestinal system they knew that nervous stimulation actually regulate these gastric uh, secretion. So they chopped off the gastric nerve and as a result they expected that pancreatic secretion would be hampered. But instead of their expectation they found the secretion was normal and the digestion was also normal. That means apart from these neuronal control, there, there is some control controlling agent which is in a soluble format. And later on, that soluble agent was discovered to be secretin. So secretin is ultimately secreted by the S cells of duodenal mucosa. Now, Question is how secretin regulates pancreatic secretion. So let us understand that part. So secretin acts on the duct cells in comparison to cholecystokinin which works on the centrocinar cells majorly. So cysteine work on the duct cell and leads to release of sodium bicarbonate and that makes the, uh, uh, the pancreatic secretion more alkaline. So carbon dioxide is uptaken from the blood vessels which is converted to H2CO3 by the help of enzyme carbonic anhydrase. So HCO3 or bicarbonate ion is obtained from there and sodium is transported from the blood and it is secreted into the lumen via active transport and ultimately sodium bicarbonate is formed which helps to neutralize the HCl in the duodenum and ultimately leads to production of sodium chloride, water and CO2. So this was the role of secretin in GI system. Now it is recently found that secretin is also secreted from the supraoptic and paraventricular nu uh, nucleus in the hypothalamus. So obviously it has, it might have a novel role to uh, regulate pituitary secretion or brain physiology. So still it is not known how secretin works in the brain. But it is, um, it, it is expected or it is hypothesized that hypothalamus, uh, it, it 
secretes from the hypothalamus and it helps in the release of vasopressin and thereby it modulates the water balance in the body overall. So in this video we learned the discovery story of secretin. We also looked at where secretin works and at a molecular level we understood how secretin helps to secrete sodium bicarbonate and thereby neutralizing the HCl coming from the stomach. So I hope that's all that kind of uh, summarize the concept and if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you like my videos you can also uh, uh, get my entire course in an academy use my code ap10 to get a 10% discount and do let me know in the comments how you like my videos thank you